Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a great day, and welcome back to SnowRunner Solo Hardcore. Where this time we're going to be building a pipeline, and uh, yeah, and doing more of those regional goals. So we're still in the twin steer, where where we finished last time. So we're going to get loaded up. So we need two service parts. Let's see. So from this side of things, we could head to this warehouse. This would be a nice, uh, nice challenge for the old twin steer. Why not? Yes, this will help us access a region of Mountain River that is currently. It's not impossible to get to, it's just basically more easily done with a scout. So, yeah, we're gonna go grab, we're gonna cross the river. I'm going way too fast. We're gonna go cross the river to that pickup spot there. And I presume we'll get metal beams from there. Right an actually, maybe small pipe. Maybe the medium pipes. Nope. Either way, it'll be a few journeys for this truck. The metal beams, that's four. Service parts, five, six. Medium pipe, seven, eight. Uh, small pipe, nine. Right, so I've got to get down that track. Um, so I've got to go up here, turn around and come back down. Oh, why didn't I reverse? That would have been the smart outfit. We, no, no, we've still got traction. Right, good. Uh, this may be a bit of a, a rocky spot turning around. Wait for somewhere that's a bit more flat. Sorry, new bumped into your caravan. I should probably fuel up. Just nip in here, get some fuel. Is there a potential that I can just cut through there? Maybe go down here. <laughs> Wait, is the am I not close enough? No, I apparently wasn't. So this track that I'm about to take this truck on uh, is, is kind of for scouts, really. Not something as big as this. Because when I come back up, I'm going to have to do the same thing where I carry on up the hill because there's no way I make that bend. Oh, look at these campers. Or I don't need to come back up it actually. I can just continue along the river to here and then back on myself. Nice ice. So it doesn't break. Ooh, I need to legitimately use log gear and diff lock. Yeah, this place isn't really designed for the twin steer, gonna move it. A new trailer disco. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh medium pipe. 
Ooh, oh, small pipes is two. Hmm. So the spare parts are easy to get. But if I can get both pipes here, I might just get rid of those. And get those. And I'm assuming I can go down this track that's not on the map. With all of my pipes. And I actually, I remember saying that I was going to flip over those trucks at the beginning of this episode, and that's clearly not happening, so it will come after I've done this mission. Although maybe I can just cut it and put it in front of the other, of this section. It'll be in this one regardless. Ah, this road is ideal for uh, these big trucks. I don't know what the whole the fuss was about. Truck fits on this road perfectly. Well, it's not going to like me have a diff lock on the eye. Uh, I think I keep the left. Now, there are all these corners, but what I'm going to do is just... Uh, I'm just going to go straight. did not realise there's just a big camber there. Luckily, there's this red section of pipeline. Are we able to... Of course we're not able to get around the corner, that would be preposterous. I'm now also stuck on the other side of the pipeline. Unable to reach the spare parts. I'm going to have to take this long way around. Uh, oh yeah, I only unloaded two things. <laughs> so we're going to back it up. into this factory. I think this may be metal beams. It is indeed. leaving just two pieces of the puzzle left. Fortunately, you can't just drive over. But there is a chance that I can get through this track. Ben's last words. like it's struggling. Spinning, it's spinning, it's a lot of wheel spin, but it's actually all right.
Uh, oh. Pardon me while I shimmy this corner. Right, we've just got to make it up this hill. Mashing it. Sorry about your squiggly arrow sign. Where does that track go? Huh. Not sure why you would use that. Ever. But whatever. Why is it it's never a mission to fix that? Just, I don't know, I find it a bit frustrating. And, oh, we actually made it in. Nice and easy, pick up the last two parts. And then boom, pipeline fixed. Don't even need to stop. Is it, it's, yeah, it's this plane. And I am not going to make the corner for. Oh. Oh, after all that. There we go. Seeing as this is here, this is one of the follow up missions I actually plan to do. We're going to leave it there. Oh, God. Well, that nearly went horrendously. Like a premature celebration. Across the little river. Come on, Druk. I assume it's to the left. It is. It's also a trailer. There are two trailers. Wow, the hitbox on that ramp is bad. So we're going to leave this here for a future mission. 
and have a little trek back to White Valley. So here we are back in the White Valley. And yeah, I think we're going to try and use the pay star for the rescue. I'm going to want to put on the old big crane. So I'm going to need some fuel out of this so you don't get some free fuel. And then we're going to equip the big crane. We're going to take off the various and we're going to equip the PC320 heavy crane, which probably will not be heavy enough. No, in this game. Uh, what's the time? There we go. The Prof Crane 320. Gonna go and rescue the ank and the Chevy. And then we're gonna put the Chevy in the ank again. Because it went so well last time. Hmm. I was just thinking how the crane the, the cranes in the game don't really suit any of the trucks. Mostly because the jib never being at full rest is always under pressure on the piston. Which is typically not great for the system. Traditionally, mobile frames, when in their transport mode, will have the jib fully flat come across the top of the cab. Like the bandit. Now hopefully it's not too much of an issue to move these two trucks. Famous last words. Alright, so they're coming up. You pour in his time, then we'll flip them over, it'll be easy peasy. Hmm. We're gonna position here. I don't even know why, but the outriggers out are actually pointless. Uh, so this, to be fair, yeah, the Chevy will just drive, <laughs> because it's on its wheels, but it won't drive over the barrier. There we go. But for the ank, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to move away. I might just try and drag it over the railing. Here we go. You can see where the impact of the railing was, which led to the truck being thrown over the edge. Oh, that went much better than I uh, expected. Oh, 
the truck did not enjoy the roll. That's a lot of engine and suspension damage. Let's have a look at the tank. Ah, the tank fared pretty well. Now it's spinning the other way. Oh, and oh, ah, come on, in in there. There we go. You know, I thought I was going to have to time lapse that. Because I thought it was going to turn into a nightmare. But it really wasn't. Right, let's turn this around and get them back. I have not chosen the best place to turn around. I will admit. Come on. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yes, of course, I want to winch onto this tiny tree that I would immediately snap out of the ground. And then it's back to the garage. I will probably, in fact, do drilling pipes delivery. Uh, I'll get these back to the garage and then we'll switch back to the twin steer. Okay, see we are. We're, whoa, we're back in the twin steer again. Drilling spare parts. So these have to go to the factory in Northport, which I think I have been to before in this playthrough. Just not very often. I haven't really spent much time in Northport, to be honest. Uh, first of all, which is going to be the quick route. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. That's going to be quite the hill. You know what, why not? I'm already on that side of the road anyway. Yay! Completely snowy tires. Right, so we've just a bit of a hill to deal with. Oh, this is steep. Oh, that was straight down to first. Oh, we're losing it. Mm, are we? We're wheel spinning a lot. Nah, we're good.
think. Yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> so now we've come up the hill, we've got to go back down the other side of it. Oh, I'm, the, I'm pretty much at the same fuel that I was when I initially arrived. I should have fueled up. Mistake on my part there. Into the snowbank. <laughs> Let's just take a quick look. That will be the faster option to come down this northern route rather than coming down and then back across. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't take the twin steer this way after a certain incident. Ah, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we've got enough fuel. Gentle right, looks like we have some night driving.
And there we have it. A nice chillax drive across Northport in the evening. With another mission complete. So I want to thank you very much for watching. Please consider likes, comments and subscribing for more SnowRunner content. And have a great day.